Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Billy with Crafting Cake with Billy. I am super excited to have you guys here today as always. Um, today, as you know, is Gingerbread Friday. I was unable to make a Gingerbread Friday video last week, so um, I thought I would get back to my Gingerbread Friday videos, so here I am. Um, I do have a gingerbread project to share with you, but before that, uh, I need to share a couple of things with you guys. Um, I have received some Merry Mail, a few um, Christmas cards from a few crafty friends. Um, this one is a really beautiful Christmas card and it has some gold and silver foiling, really pretty. Um, I had sent out some Christmas cards and now I'm starting to get Christmas cards back. So I thought that was really sweet. This one says, Billy, thank you for thinking of me and sending me a Christmas card. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a blessed new year. Hugs, Donna Designs. Thank you so much, Donna. So very sweet. I love this card. So that was my first Christmas card. And then I also got, um, let's see, I got a card from Gina over at Gina Loves to Craft, and it says Happy Holidays. Ooh, she sent some, um, some little things for my die cutter here. So very sweet. Thank you so much. I need to get into die cutting so thanks for inspiring me to do that um it says billy wishing you and your family merry christmas merry christmas to you and those you love and an amazing new year 2023 love gina loves to craft thank you gina so very sweet and then i got another christmas card thank you guys i got this one from velma and I believe she made this Christmas card. Look how beautiful. It is layered with some gifts and there's like a Christmas ornament and ho the holly berries and the holly leaves. And there's a pretty Christmas bow. And it says, have a merry little Christmas. Look how pretty. So very pretty. Thank you, Velma. And it says, may your day sparkle with joy and laughter. Velma at VSJ Crafts 2022. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies, for my Christmas cards. I was so very excited to get those. And we are going to move on to a couple of VR shout outs. Um, I got a VR shout out for my 1,000 subscriber uh, challenge and I told you guys if you are willing to do a VR for my channel and for my 1,000 subscriber birthday challenge that I would give you a shout out and I had two more VR um, people who did VRs for my channel and one was from Colleen Colleen C to serendipity uh, she has a wonderful channel here on YouTube, and sometimes I participate in her Saturday uh, trivia. She does like a Saturday trivia, and she does other things as well on her channel, but awesome, awesome Colleen. And then I got a VR from Coffee Paper Scissors. Stephanie did a VR, and I'm so very excited to um, see both of their entries, so... Thank you, ladies, so very much. And if you are willing to do a VR, um, just put the handle at Craft and Cake with Billy so that I know um, you actually did a VR for my channel. And I do thank you so very much. I do appreciate it. Um, it seems like there was something else I was going to say about this. Hopefully it comes to me. But anyway, thank you, ladies, so much. And now we're going to get to the Gingerbread Friday project. And this one is a little bit different from what I have been doing. 
Um, you guys know I make the little gingerbread ornament faces. I did include one, but this just this is just a bit different. So my project is this cute little sign. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how I made it in case anyone is interested in making one for their Christmas decor this year. Um, these little signs actually came from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. And you can either buy the individual pieces, wood pieces, and paint them. Or if your Dollar Tree carries this particular sign, that's a little bit easier. Um, I also had some wooden letters in my stash. And um, I painted those red. And then I took some vintage photo ink and I inked around each letter just to give it a aged look. I just love that aged look with gingham. So I also inked around the sign and I took some chalkboard markers and I added the 25 cents. I also added a cute little button snowflake and that's my three-year-old if you hear her. Um, I added a ornament and I made a cute little face on there and this one has cute little gingerbread earrings, a pearl necklace, and then here is a bow with a gingerbread in the center. And I made that from using some of this um, plaid trim that I have. Um, and then I made a cute little bow for the top and I added a gingerbread there. I also took this rope here and I took it, I detached it from the frame, the sign, and then I added these little wooden beads. So I thought that added a nice touch as well, but I thought this would go nicely in the center of maybe a wreath or you could hang it on a doorknob or you could um, put it in with your Christmas decor, however it fits. Or it actually, it would be cute on, um, if you do a hot cocoa bar or something that is gingerbread themed, I think it would look nicely on a table with your different uh, gingerbread decor, so. I thought this was fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to take a moment to subscribe. I appreciate you guys so very much for watching and until next time, I hope you have a super awesome day. All right, bye.